Saxon course 2, lesson 87, is on multiplying algebraic terms. So here I have this very big number, negative 3x squared y times 2x times negative 4xy. The minus signs on these, on these terms represent negative numbers, not subtraction. So we're going to multiply these three terms together to make one whole term. So first, I need to list the factors of these x squares. Okay, I need to separate it all out. Okay, so all separated out, I have negative 3 times x times x times y times a positive 2 times x times a negative 4 times x times y. So all I've done is I've taken like these x squareds and I broke it up into two x's. Okay? So now we're going to use the commutative property to rearrange the factors so that I have all of the numbers grouped, the, all the like terms grouped. So I'm going to have negative 3 times the positive 2 times the negative 4. Now I'm going to group all of the x's. So I have 4 x's, going to be times x, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to group the y's, and there's two of them, so times y, times y. Now, using the associative property, we're going to group the factors by multiplying the numerical factors and gathering the variable factors with exponents. So first, we're going to multiply negative 3 times ne positive 2 times negative 4. So negative 3 times a positive 2 equals negative 6 times a negative 4 equals a positive 24. Okay, I have four x's here that are multiplied together, so that's going to equal x to the fourth power, because I'm multiplying them. So x times x would be x squared, times x would be x cubed, times x would be x to the fourth power. Then I have y, and I have y times y would be y squared. So this is my simplified answer. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. So my numerical numbers are negative 2 and 3. So I know that when I multiply those together, I'm going to end up with negative 6. Okay. Then I have an a, a squared, a and an a squared. So that's going to be a times a squared, which is really a times a times a, which is a to the third power. So I have a to the third power. And finally, I have b, another b, and a b to the third power. So since I have one, two, three of those, it's going to be b to the fifth power. So if I wrote that out, it would be b times b and then three more, b times b times b. So one, two, three, four, five b's, so it's b to the fifth power. Okay. And that's it for that one. Okay. This one, we have negative three a squared, b to the third power, and that whole thing is going to be squared. So first I'm going to show two different methods. So when we square a number, that means we'll be multiplying everything inside the parentheses by itself. So this would look like negative 3a squared b cubed times negative 3a squared b cubed. Okay, I would then combine like terms, so I'd have negative 3 times negative 3 a squared times a squared, and then times b cubed times b cubed. Then I'm going to group those like terms. So negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. a squared times a squared is going to be a to the fourth power. And then b cubed times b cubed is going to be b to the sixth power. Okay, the other way you can do this is to apply exponent rules. So this squared is going to have to apply to each of these numbers. So I'm going to end up with negative 3 squared times a squared 
squared times b cubed squared. So negative 3 squared is going to equal to 9. a squared squared, you're going to add 2 plus 2 is 4. Or sorry, 2 times 2 is 4, excuse me. So it's going to be a to the fourth power. And then 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So it's going to be b to the sixth power. So those are the two ways you can do it. You can choose which one is easier for you. And that's it for this lesson.